Welcome to MusicMovie.com. I am Torio, and today I'm going to discuss if you can survive how the new music industry works. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I haven't done a video in a long while, but I'm going to start trying to crank them out more and get you some more music business advice and tips and all that good stuff. So a lot of you need to have a bigger picture, especially with how much the music industry has changed, just even in a couple of years. As you know, right now, it's all about streaming and downloading and then maybe like CD sales, vinyl, cassettes and all that stuff still are selling here and there. Now for me, the only way or the only reason you should sell CDs is if you are an established artist with a solid fan base that you know they're going to buy them. If you don't have something like that going for you, you need to just stick to streaming because it's extremely low cost to get your songs out there. It's no problem. You're not going to have CDs sitting around and not selling because honestly, CDs are fading. They're still selling to for major, major, major artists, but they're fading out for independence and things like that. People just don't buy them. All, new, all the new cars for years now don't even come with the CD player in the car, in the dash. It's all about streaming. Downloads, yeah, I mean, people still do that here and there, but streaming is the way to go because they have all the music that they want at their fingertips for one monthly fee, which is pretty damn good if you think about it. Now, that's why I want to tell you that you as an artist should be focusing on streams. I know everyone's going to be like, oh, they don't pay much and yeah, whatever. But it's still long term, almost forever money because your music could be out there on these services forever. And if you keep a decent fan base going, they'll still listen to your old catalog. So you want to focus on getting streams because that's where it's at. So you've got to focus on building your fan base and getting these streams up. You got to get on these playlists on Spotify and Tidal and all these good services. You got to get on these playlists. You got to focus on that and focus on building your fan base. Why? If you focus on the streams and focus on promoting online, taking out ads, whatever it takes, and then building your fan base up, eventually you'll have a solid enough fan base well, they will buy your other stuff. So if you have a solid, you know you have 100,000 fans solid, you have an email list of them all, you can probably put out a CD as well and sell them. If you want to release a special vinyl release as well as the streaming, those 100,000 fans will most likely buy your vinyl and merch and whatever else you want to put out. So as of right now, focus on the streams. Focus on people going to listen to your music for the streams. Build that fan base up. Also, doing shows, it's build your fan base up. Do this as much as you can. It's all about the fan base. I'm going to say it again because you got to look at the bigger picture here. Streams might not pay a lot, but they do pay and it will build you up. So these solid fans, these diehard fans will buy anything you put out after that. It could be CD, whatever. You see what I'm saying? So you got to have that thinking now. Don't worry about putting a CD out right now, like an actual physical CD. Don't worry about that. It's too much money anyway. And if you don't have a fan base, forget it. It's just going to sit there. Focus on everything else, the streams and your fans. Take out ads on Instagram. Take out ads and um, put them on TikTok. Put them on wherever, social media, wherever your audience is. Put these ads in front of them to listen to your music. And use linktree.com or whatever thing you like so they can click one link and then your album will appear there or your song will appear there and they can choose whatever basically streaming service they use. Like if they're not on Spotify, they might be on Apple Music. They can click that, go right to Apple Music, listen to your song. So use like Linktree, something like that, because that really does work wonders. There's a bunch of other ones out there. You can just Google them that do the same type of service. Also... Don't really worry about putting out a whole album right away. Release singles. That's where it's at. Singles. Once you get established, have a solid fan base, have a larger fan base, then worry about a full length album. But for now, release hot singles. I said this before, release a single, promote it as hard as you can for two to three months. Then release another single. 
Do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Keep going. Keep going. And you will build your fan base. I guarantee it. Now, I hope you liked this short video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I do videos on music business tips and advice. And I also, usually on Fridays, not every Friday, but I will do a short review show where I review independent artists. So please check all that out. Don't forget to look in the description below. There are tons of things that are helpful down there. There's links to ebooks you can download about music business. There's discounts on services for TuneCore, Bandzoogle, all that good stuff. You got to use the links below to get the discount though. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you next video.